A big thank you to GoDaddy for sponsoring this video. GoDaddy Managed WordPress Hosting is a great way to quickly create and host your WordPress site. Go to bit.ly forward slash jamiewp to get 30% off your managed WordPress hosting today. Last week when I was recreating the apple.com website in 30 minutes, link in description below if you want to see that tutorial, I stumbled across this amazing effect. And it got me thinking, would this be possible just using core WordPress Gutenberg blocks with no plugins and no coding or CSS? And this is what I came up with. But then I thought, could we take this one step further? And I came up with this. So today I'm going to show you how to do this on your own sites. No CSS, no coding, no plugins, just call Gutenberg. Let's get into it. To make this as easy as possible to follow along, I've split my screen in two with the original one over on the left, the one I'm going to recreate over on the right. And I've also turned on the block outlines using a plugin. If I click on the list view up here, you can see that the entire page is just made up out of cover blocks and also a sprinkling of magic, which I'm going to talk you through. So I'm going to start by adding a cover block. So forward slash cover is the shortcut. And then I'm going to choose my little picture. Here he is, this cool little guy. And I'm going to make him full width to start with using this little icon at the top. And I'm also going to make him the full height of the page using that little icon there. There he is. Now I'm also going to reduce the opacity. So when you add the cover block to start with, it adds a natural overlay opacity here, which I'm going to take right down. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this text from the left. And the final thing I need to do here, which is super important, I need to fix the background. This is what makes the magic work. So I'm going to fix the background. And there he is. Now we've got our first little hero section done. Now what I'm going to do using the list view is simply duplicate that first section. So just click the three little dots and duplicate him. Now essentially you've got two sections exactly the same. I'm going to change the text on the second section. But can you see how the image now, because we've chosen fixed background, is basically fixed to the background of the website. So as we scroll up, the image stays the same, but the text changes. Now we come to this section down here, we start to see this lovely graduation where we merge and fade into the next image. That again is pretty straightforward. What we're going to do again, click on the list view and we're going to duplicate that block once more. Now we just need to delete the title in that block here. Now we need to add this graduation. We're going to use the overlay that comes with the cover block. So we're going to select the cover block itself. Again, use the list view if that's easier for you. Come across to the stars option here and we want to click on overlay. Then we want to click on gradient. Now we can actually set the gradient of our overlay. So we want to choose an angle of 180 and we want to go from basically fully transparent at the top, like so. So you've got these two sliders. This top one here is the color slider. This bottom one is transparency. So we really want the first color picker here, which is going to be the top one, to be completely transparent. As you can see, we've got a bit of graduation on it, but it's pretty much transparent. Then the bottom one we're going to set here as black, and we want to set that one to be pretty much opaque. So we're going to choose over here like so. And that means that that graduation now will start to fade down. The other thing you must do is change your overlay opacity, which is here, because we set that to naught before. So we want to slide that now to maximum opacity. And you can see now we've got this fantastic graduation that's coming from transparent at the top to completely black at the bottom. So that's done. Now we come down to this section here. And what we've done here is essentially just add another cover block. So what I'm going to do here is just duplicate this one again, like so. And you can see we've got a cover block. Now on this one, I actually played with the height a bit. So with the cover block, you can change the height just by selecting and dragging it up and down. So you can play with this. But essentially, this one just wants to be completely black background because this is going to give us our nice solid background as we transition into this next one. So what we're going to do here is just select the cover block, come to our styles and click on overlay. We want solid and then we just want to choose black. There we go. And we want to make sure it's completely black as well. So there we go, completely black. And then to add this final transition into this other hero section down here, 
We're essentially going to repeat the process, but in reverse. So you add the cover block, come across to your block styles, click on overlay, click on gradient. Now, the first thing we need to do here is set the angle again. That just means it's going to come from top to bottom. Then we want to click our color pickers here. So the top one now needs to be completely black. So we just choose black here. Now, remember the overlay opacity, we need to set that at 100% here. And then the bottom color picker here, we want to set as completely transparent. And then we get our lovely transition coming down here from this completely black section to our next hero section. Now, we're not writing a title in here because actually we want to get another cover section. So the transition is really elegant. So we're going to click on the list view, duplicate this one again, and this final cover block now here. Now we do have an overlay on this, so I'm just going to clear all that, click on styles here, click on that, and we want to reset all that. And we want to make sure we've got no opacity on it, so just reduce that. Now we can write our final title here. And here is the finished result. You can see as I scroll down the page, it tells a story, but it has this lovely fade effect as you scroll between slides to the next hero section. And because the entire page has just been built using core cover blocks, it means when we view it on a mobile, then it works absolutely perfectly out of the box. So the second effect is pretty much identical, but with one major change. You can see as I scroll down, I have these amazing text and arrows that are appearing magically as I scroll between the sections. Let me turn on spotlight mode so that it's easier for you to see actually what's going on here. So this is the first cover block and if I click on replace to show you the background image you'll see it's just got the sunrise that's the background image and then all I've done is add some text over the top of it. We come down to this cover block here though this actually has a different background image. Can you see how this background image I've actually put the arrow and the text on the background image itself which means when you scroll between them let me turn off spotlight mode when you scroll between them the arrow magically appears and points perfectly to the graphic because I've put that graphic within the background image itself. Then when we scroll down, we're doing exactly the same gradient effect that we did before. The only difference in this case is I put some text over the black background. And then if we scroll down further, exactly the same thing again. This is just a cover block with a background image. There's the background image with no text on it. And if I scroll down even further to this cover block, this background image, has my Starry Nights text over it. But you end up with the result that you have this kind of magic effect as you scroll up where the text magically appears and the arrow points towards the text that you put on the background image. It's pretty cool, isn't it? But there is an issue. When you set a background image to a cover block, on a mobile, it'll look like it's zooming in. Let me show you the problem. As I squish the screen over on the right here to emulate viewing this on a mobile and then scroll down, you'll see my text looks like it's cropping because it's set as the background image to the cover block. The solution is to hide that block on mobile. On this page on the left, I've installed the block visibility plugin and I'm hiding those blocks on a mobile. And you'll see as I scroll up, we still have these lovely transitions between hero sections, but we don't have the issue with the background image. If you want to try this on your own site, then I put a link to a one-click website in the description below. Click on that. It'll fire you up a brand new website and you can literally go in and copy the blocks that I've built using these pages and then paste them onto your site and just replace the text and the images. And bingo, you'll have this amazing cool effect on any of your pages that you wish. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up down below now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge, huge, it really does make a huge difference in terms of how many people get to see this video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats, Get a little treat. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button down below and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.